so today I am here to do a OPI haul which kind of snuck up on me because I, to be honest, wasn't aware that this collection was a thing. This is my first time in a while sitting down in front of the camera to film because I pre-filmed my last three videos. Um, I was on vacation in North Carolina with my family and it feels good to be back but I am suffering from a post-vacation depression and it is real let me tell you but I had a really nice vacation with my family and my best friend and my boyfriend and it was just the greatest so I am refreshed replenished I'm a little bit tired because I'm confused as to what time it is because my body's on East Coast time but I am back and ready to film this so let's get to it I tried to pick this up while I was in North Carolina but it just didn't work out so I came actually the day I landed I went right away I had seen some swatches online but other than that that's that's pretty much all I knew. I didn't know if I even wanted anything because for me these kind of like six collect six polish collections um they're sometimes they're hit and they're miss. OPI has been on point lately let me tell you like the neon collection is amazing Brazil is amazing the coca-cola line is so good the Muppets was great spotlight on glitter was great I didn't buy any from the Gwen Stefani collection so I was just prepared for this to be like that one so but I went and I bought four of them which shouldn't surprise anybody but I have a story to tell first this is a really long intro but bear with me I went and I bought three of them and I was on the fence about one which I'll get into that later um, so I bought three of them left the one I didn't want and then I came home swinging the bag around it hit something and one of the polishes totally broke which ugh, not okay but it totally broke and I was so upset and I wanted to get this video up so I went back um, and I know it's my fault that it broke but I was hoping I'd be like yeah well it broke and you know I gotta get another one hoping she just like let me take one but no I had to buy another one and since I was there I bought the one that I was on the fence about just so I could test it out and let you guys know so I will get into that all right now was that a sentence I don't even think I've mentioned what collection this is I'm very scatterbrained if you can't tell and I've, I've obviously lost my touch for filming if I ever had one but this collection is the OPI Ford com combination collection and it's the Mustang collection which apparently there was another one in 2005 but I think that was a little bit before my OPI obsession so I, I'm not familiar with it but they've they've collaborated again and we have some really cute polishes with little horsies on the top aren't they cute this is the one that broke in the bag and I was kind of on the fence about this too because I've mentioned I go up and down with red nail polish but lately I've been up and mainly because of the OPI Coca-Cola Red. I just took it off my nails the other day because I had it on 4th of July. It is seriously the best red I've tried in a very very long time. I was very impressed and so I kind of wanted to try this red but this one's more of like an orangey red and I think it's really really cool. I think it's going to be nice for the fall as well. And this is called Race Red, which that's a cute name too. Um, lost my thoughts. <laughs> I can't find them still. This was the one that broke in the bag, and even if I was on the fence about this, once it broke in the bag and I saw how pretty it was, like, you know, getting everywhere, I was like, shoot, I really do need that. It's really, really nice. So I think this will be fun for fall, and it's just cute. It's different than any other red that I have. It's a true, like, red-orange. And yeah, I think it's really cute. I think you can take this little Mustang wrapper off if you really want to, but I'm going to leave it on because I think it's cute. So yeah. Next, I have a polish that I'm really excited about when cleaning out my nail polish, which my last video I just uploaded, which is actually uploading right now. It's taking forever. But the last video, I'll link it down below, is my updated nail polish collection video, which has been so highly requested. So I'm very happy it's edited and filmed and hopefully uploaded by the time you guys see this because it's uploading as slow as Christmas. But in the process of cleaning out my nail polish, I realized I don't have a lot of like hot pinks like magenta true pinks so I was all on board when I saw this color it's called girls love ponies and it's a really cute hot pink magenta color and I just love it I had I don't have anything like this I feel like I'm gonna be really really into this once I actually put it on my nails so I'm really really pleased with it I'm very excited this one there was two of them that I was like absolutely yes I need and then the other two is on the fence but this one I knew I wanted and I am happy to have it this one is called The Sky's My Limit and it's a really pretty shimmery, almost kind of glittery blue color. It reminded me a lot of a previous blue shimmery color that was in the first Miss Universe collection, which I own. It's called Swimsuit Nailed It. It's gorgeous, but that one's a lot darker than this one. So I kind of like looked up swatches before I bought it and I was like, oh no, this is really, really pretty and I am obsessed. And I was even more excited when I actually swatched it on the tester nail and it looked 
flawless with two coats and I, I cannot wait. I'm so happy. So this one was my number one that I wanted to get. It's still my number one after swatching all of them and I just think it's going to be nice for fall. Now this next one is the one that I, I didn't buy originally and I, when I went back to buy it and that's because it's a white and I, as we know, I love white cream beige nail polishes but like as far as just straight white goes, I feel like I only need one and I have Alpine Snow. I love Alpine Snow. Um, and the girl at the counter was kind of trying to like convince me to get it. She was like, well, we tested it and they're both kind of different. Um, she got them backwards when she explained them to me, but she, she said this one was sheer. It's not sheer at all. It's actually a really nice white and I'm on the fence of whether I'm going to keep this or not, but, um, I, I, I don't know. This one is actually a much brighter white than Alpine Snow. I will show you the swatches up close. But Alpine Snow just looks a little bit more yellowy white, if that makes sense. And this is just bright paper white, which is kind of why I want to keep it. And I just, I'm a nail polish hoarder, guys. I am. The only reason why I'm considering keeping it is because it really is such a nice white. Um, so I think I'm going to keep it and try it. Let's be real. I'm going to try it because I love white nail polish. So. If you have Alpine Snow, I'm going to say you don't need both, but if you don't have Alpine Snow, go get this because it's really, really pretty. It's a brighter white than Alpine Snow, and it's cute with the Mustangs, so I just wanted to have it. It's limited edition. This is why I have so much nail polish, but um, yeah. I also wanted to test them for you because I was kind of curious. Um, the swatches I looked up online didn't really help. Nobody really compared it. So I wanted you guys to know whether it was worth having both. It's not worth having both, but if you don't have both, this is worth having. Okay guys, that is it. Um, this collection was a six polish collection. There were two more polishes. There was a gold color, which first of all, it was like, kind of like the sign my signature's DC from the Coca-Cola one, the like straight foil silver, but this was a gold version, which I don't like metallic nail polish, so I steered clear. And when I looked up a couple different blogs, they said that it was really streaky anyway, so I was like, I don't need that. And then the other one was like a dark brown, black, green color that I just wouldn't gravitate towards. It looked pretty in the bottle, but the swatches I didn't like. It's a, it's a nice color, but it, you have to be into that kind of color. The dark murky greens kind of, I don't really appeal to. So I steered clear of those ones, but those were the four I picked up. Let me know which one is your favorite or which ones you're planning on picking up. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you had a great day. I'll see you very soon with a new video. And yeah, bye guys.